Hey guys, it's Mara. Um, in today's video, I'm going to talk to you about um, arterial blood gases, they're also known as ABGs, um, and they are to help um, a physician diagnose um, your acid base status. So, um, you think of acids, you think of bases. So, the pH scale is from 1 to 14, um, 1 being like the most acidic, and 14 being the most basic. Um, however, with blood, your pH should range, the range should be very small, um, 7.35 to 7.45. So a pH, anything less than 7.35 is considered acidic, and anything more than 7.45 is considered basic for the body. Um, so I just want to go into a little bit and explain, uh, make a little intro video, and then I'll go more in depth in subsequent videos. Okay. So the first thing I want to talk about is, um, so that's the acid base status of your actual pH. So what helps compensate or try to compensate are your pCO2 levels and your HCO3 levels. So um, though the pCO2 can be anywhere, or the normal range is um, 35 to 45. So anything greater than 45 is considered acidic. So the on um, on um, in this case, the higher number is actually an acid, um, and the less than 35 is considered basic. And then with HCO3, um, that range is 22 to 26. So then again, like with the pH, um, higher than 26 is basic, and lower than 22 is acidic. And I forgot to say, um, so the HCO3 is the bicarbonate, um, and then the PCO2 is the amount of carbon dioxide um, that's actually dissolved in your blood. So, um, some more ranges that we can go over. PO2, um, which is like, I guess the P stands for, oh, partial pressure of oxygen that is dissolved in arterial blood, so that's the pressure or partial pressure of oxygen, that's the O2, um, should be a range between 80 and 100 um, mmHg. <laughs> so um, that's the normal range. Now if you get less than um, 80, then you're hypoxic, um, and if you're more than 100, then usually it's due to hyperventilation, so you're just like, you know, trying to breathe. Um, so let's see. Um, what else? Now, there's the SaO2, that's the saturation of oxygen, um, in the art, or the arterial oxygen saturation, and the normal range is between, um, 95 and 100%. Um, let's see, I already talked about PCO2, right? Yes. And HCO3. Okay, and now there's something called BE, and that's the base excess. So the base excess indicates the amount of excess or insufficient level of bicarbonate in the system. So the normal range is negative 2 to 2 plus, um, and a negative base excess indicates a base deficient, def, a base deficit, def, I can't say that word, deficient, deficit. <laughs> Okay, a base deficit in the blood. Man, it is too early. Okay, let's see what else that I want to talk about. Now, there are different, um, how do I want to say this? There are different um, components that have to deal with um, what's compensating, if that makes sense. Um, so, the CO2 is a respiratory component, so, or the pCO2, so that's the particles, or the partial pressure of the CO2, so, you know, when you're breathing in oxygen, you're releasing out CO2, so that's obviously respiratory, um, and then HCO3, so the bicarbonate, um, that has a renal and, um, metabolic component, so that's using your kidneys, um, and just your metabolism, is trying to compensate for you know your pH. It's trying to balance everything out. Now, I have read um, a lot of different charts and stuff like that, and most of them are pretty confusing. I think 
um, to figure out, you know, compensated, partially compensated, acidic, basic, stuff like that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to insert in um, a pretty good graph, I think, or chart that kind of helps you figure out um, what type of um, component it is and if it's acid or base. Um, so if you have either the PCO2 or the HCO3 um, going towards the acid or even if it's going towards more basic um, and then the pH is the opposite of that but the pH is still abnormal then it's partially compensated so you know that the HCO3 or the uh, PCO2 is trying to go the opposite direction to try to balance things out now if they are the opposite and then the pH is still normal um, then that's fully compensated and it depends you know if it's the um, HCO3 then it's the renal metabolic um, and then it's the PCO2 it's your respiratory system trying to compensate um, and make that pH that pH really wants to be um, normal and that's 7.35 to 7.45 so the graph I'm going to put in and I'll just kind of explain it a little bit and you guys can copy it or I don't know if you can even download this video or take a screenshot of the picture so you have a graph and you can rewrite it out and it can help you um, if you can memorize this chart and then recreate it if you have a test or something like that then you'll kind of know um, which way to go with you know a case study or something like that so first you start out with the pH and then you have is the pH acidic or basic so is it less than 7.35 it's acidic is it more than 7.45 it's basic okay then you have is the HCO3 decreased under under the acidic part um, or is the PCO2 increased so obviously you know it's trying to compensate or something and otherwise it wouldn't be compensating at all um, and then the same under alkalosis is the HCO3 increased or is the PCO2 decreased so it's just the opposite um, to try to compensate for the alkalosis part now if under the acid part um, or acidosis it, under HCO3 decreased then it is first degree metabolic um, and then if the PCO2 is increased then it's first degree respiratory so like I said think CO2 think breathing think respiratory think CO3 is renal slash metabolic component um, and then the same under alkalosis is if HCO3 is increased it's metabolic um, if the, the PCO2 is decreased then it's respiratory then under that you then have if it's a decreased PCO2 um, and with a decreased HCO3, um, you have partially compensated. So if it didn't fully compensate, um, then it's just partially compensated metabolic acidic. Um, then if the increase in HCO3, then you have partially compensated respiratory acidosis. Um, and then under the alkalosis, side increase in PCO2 you have partially compensated metabolic alkalosis and then decrease HCO3 partially compensated respiratory alkalosis so there you go um, now if the pH was normal then you would have to figure out um, which way the um, PCO2 and HCO3 went um, to get your pH to be normal and obviously be fully compensated unless they're all in the normal range and then it doesn't need to compensate because everything is normal. Um, so this is just to help you with if the pH is acidic or basic. So um, thank you guys for watching. If you want, I'll try to make some more videos um, explaining a few case studies and um, I'll put in the chart here and I'll see you guys later. Bye.